Congratulations on that win. How happy are you with that performance? I'm excited, man. I couldn't be any happier. Did that play out pretty much exactly how you thought it would? Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I came in here to try to finish the guy, but I actually came here to fight 15 minutes. It didn't matter if I was going to go th one or three, but I knew I was going to get the job done. Let's talk a little bit. I kind of want to jump to it because I think it was probably one of the most amazing things we saw. When he had you... And, in the guillotine? And he had you in the guillotine, and you, you immediately jumped to the slam. I think a lot of people think that there's a lot of risk in that, and I think there is. Did you hurt yourself when you were trying to knock him out from the slam? It looks like the first time, maybe not so much, but the second time it looked like you hit your head. Yeah, I might have. I actually did that in my second prof professional fight. Some guy had me in the guillotine, similar thing that just happened. Uh, he had me in the guillotine, I slammed him, and then he still had me, and I slammed him again. So I was really familiar with that. That's how it was not guilty. Man, it, <laughs> that shit was deep. <laughs> but yeah, man, I was he would have to put me to sleep. Be, you know, uh, that happened to me once, my first professional, I mean, my first day, UFC debut, and that shit wasn't going to happen again. Have you ever knocked anybody out with a hammer fist like that before? Never, but we definitely worked on that leading up to this fight. Even in the back, when we were in the back getting ready for the fight, we were, we were just imitating that. It seemed like the very first one actually did some damage. Yeah. Did you pick up on that? It, well, I seen him sleeping. I just stopped. You know? So, yeah. I did notice he was sleeping. Would the coaches yell at you that you pulled your punches and didn't keep... Uh... Pitting him? Yeah. Nah, man. You know, I got a family and stuff, so I'm pretty sure he's got a family. I got kids. So I don't look at it that way. You know, I feel bad for the guy. I knocked him out, but we're, this is a part of uh, the fight life we live. Alpha male guillotines are known for stopping fights, but talk about like your philosophy in, in defending guillotines, because obviously you don't want to try to have to slam your way out of guillotines like that always. Do you feel that you can you know, fight the hands? And, and yeah, I should have fought the hands, but uh, I think I was just trying to make it a little bit more exciting for the fans. <laughs> in the back, I mentioned that you were uh, looking to try to get that Wilson uh, Hayes fight back. Yeah. Now, is that what you would, I, it might be a little bit tough to try to get that next because, you know, he's, he's you yeah. know, fourth or fifth. Do you think with this performance, this might make you, take you into the top 15? You might start getting guys in the top 10? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just here to fight and try to, I'm just trying to be the best fighter I, I possibly could. Cody was an unranked opponent last year and he became the world champion. Similar to me, I mean, I was an unranked opponent. I lost my professional UFC debut and that's not gonna happen again. I wanna become the world champion as well. So we need to hold two belts at Team Alpha Male. So you think someone like Ray Borg would be a good fight for you? Oh, perfect. I'll beat anybody, so run it, put him against me, and I'm ready to go. I train hard. I actually trained two or three months for this fight without stopping, so there's no days off for me. What do, what do you think the future is for Demetrius? Do you think he's going to stick around 125 long enough for you guys to, to get your shot? Well, the guys that Demetrius fights, um, they don't have no cardio. That's the most important part, and I feel like if we're running up the mountain, he's – if we're both running up the mountain, I'm going to win. Or he's going to have to, one of us is going to die, and that's not going to be me.